Hi, I'm here with Lady Saints head softball coach Cassidy Webb. Good morning, Cassidy. How are you? Good. Okay, today is Wednesday. Uh, what day is it? The 9th. February 9th. Yep. And what's, what is today? Game day. <laughs> That's right. It's our opening day for the Lady Saints softball team. They're playing uh, Seminole State at noon, doubleheader, and then they're playing at noon and two, right? No, uh, one, one in three. three. Yeah, I'm sorry about that. It's no, one in good. three. Okay, yep. so um, it's going to be a beautiful day today. It's going to be like 60 degrees. I can't believe it. Usually, if anyone knows Seward softball in the past, it's freezing. It's 100. It's like 10 below zero with winds blowing out at 50 miles an hour. All but right. not today. It's okay. going to be a gorgeous day today. <laughs> yes, sir. All right. So, um, are you excited? Yeah, I'm mean, very excited to get going. So. Okay, so you've had the fall season. Uh, what what did you see about the team in the fall and now going into opening day today? Yeah, I mean we had a really good fall season. Um, they have a lot of grit and a lot of heart, and everybody gets along. So if anybody knows that, that's a very important thing. Any coach out there. So mm -hmm. um, we have the team chemistry we want. Um, we have a lot of moving pieces, and the girls respond to it well, and they respect us coaches and listen to us, and you know. We're fortunate of them. They're fortunate of us. So it's it's a really good relationship. I, I think it's going to be a solid season. So you've pretty much uh, the fall season, I guess, was a learning experience for you um, in terms of knowing the players and such? Yeah, absolutely. All, of course, I came in not knowing. I knew, like, two or three of them. But, mm -hmm. you know, now we're obviously a lot closer than we were, and we built that relationship. So. And you've got a pretty young team, don't you? Very young team. Mm -hmm. Very young. I think we have four sophomores. So, okay. And... We're lacking a little bit of experience, but it's exciting to see what they're going to be capable of. So, And that's my next question. Expectations. What are your expectations going in um, for your team and yourself with that? Yeah, of course, my expectations will be to be in the region tournament. You mm -hmm. know, Butler's always a top dog, so we want to see where we're at. And this is a good tester game with Seminole State to kind of see if we can compete or where we're going to be and what mm -hmm. we need to do. So even as coaches, too. Um, our expectations are, of course, high because if we don't keep them high, then, you know, everybody's comfortable, the girls are comfortable. So we got to keep everybody on their toes. And, you know, if you expect the best, you're going to get the best of somebody. So. Okay. So now well, let's talk about Seminole State. Okay. There's history mm -hmm. and not just history, family with that. Yeah. Talk a little, talk, talk a little about, um, about Seminole State. And the fact is that actually you talked about a good test. They're ranked sixth in the nation, correct? Right. And so. They're, they're coming all the way to hello, but you played them in the fall. And I think I heard somewhere where that you guys beat them. Yeah, we, we competed with them. I know they, it was their last fall game, so I know all their girls were kind of playing. Mm -hmm. um, yeah, we, we, I would say we competed with them. I know nobody really keeps score or anything like that, but, mm -hmm. uh, you know, they're, they're coming in hungry because people are saying that we did beat them and everything like that. Um, but, yeah, the, the family history thing, um, that's my dad's the assistant softball coach. My best friend's a head mm -hmm. coach. Um, and you're from there. I'm from close to there. Right. Yeah, so I coached two years there. Right. Mm -hmm. um, I mean, I don't know. It's, it'll be fun. It'll be a fun little friendly competition. And, you know, we're not, we're not picked to win, you know, mm -hmm. all that stuff. So it's going to be even more fun. It's more pressure on them than it is on us. So. Uh -huh. Like I said, just kind of seeing where we're at. And, you know, if I can get my first win against Seminole State, that'd be great because I can always rub it in my dad's face and have that, you know. People say you don't remember the wins and stuff like that, but this one I think I'd remember. <laughs> now, this is sort of this game, okay, well, we talked about playing in the fall, but mm -hmm. this is actually what we would call a real season. And right. actually going. Do you think that there's going to be a little bit of jitters going in just because it's actually going like it actually counts? Yeah, absolutely, absolutely. I mean... Even from our coaching standpoint, we were talking about it today already. Um, we are, I'm, I, like I said, I'm more nervous about the rules and like knowing that stuff because it was my first year of coaching and everything. I'm not so much nervous as the game because I know my girls are going to play hard and, mm -hmm. you know, yeah, of course they're going to be nervous. This is also Seminole's first game, so they're also going to be nervous. So I think it'll be good to get it all out. This is a great game to do that and just kind of let it all fly and just have fun with it, you know. Okay. So why should all the fans come out there today besides it being a great day and it's going to be a great weather? Why should they come out and see your girl? Yeah, I mean, <clears throat> you know, win or lose, like I said, um, we're going to play hard and we're going to put on a show all year no matter what. Like, you're, you're going to like how they fly around and they sprint on the field, sprint off the field. Just respect the game and, 
you know, I think a lot of people get away from that, and that's what I was taught at Seminole State as a coach is, you know, do the little things right, you know. I focus on sprinting on and off the field, doing the little stuff, being a good teammate, being loud, and all that stuff. So I think it makes it for a fun atmosphere, mm -hmm. and that's that's really what we're looking for, and I'm going to enforce that just like I was taught, you know, so... All right. So we hope that everyone comes out to the game today. Um, again, it's at noon. It's at one and three o'clock, and it's at French Family Field. And it's going to be a great time. Start to the new season. And w am I incorrect? Is that there are actually six games that will be at home? You guys start off the season. So yes. if you're missing today, you can come out throughout the next couple of weeks, right? Yep. They'll be out there. I guess you guys are also playing on Saturday, right? Saturday and Monday. Saturday and, Saturday and Monday. And they'll yep. all be here. So if you miss those games, come on out. Go to SewardSaints.com to website. Come out and see first-year coach Cassidy Webb and her great lady saints. Hope to see you out there. Yes, sir. Thank you.